It's not every day that I get to set a product to review that I really enjoy, let alone I find it useful enough to incorporate into my daily life. I mean, some of my most revered GMRS radios don't even see daily use. That's changed a little bit since the folks at Rocket IQ sent me these right here. These are their Solo Smart sunglasses and they sent them to me in exchange for this review. They're something that for the first time out of everything that I've ever reviewed, I seem to use every day all the time, so much so that, well, I'm really excited to make this video. By incorporating two things that I really enjoy, my sunglasses and my headphones, Rocket has made my life just a little bit more simplified and convenient, and that's pretty awesome. And in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to the Rocket IQ Solos, and give you my opinion on them. And if you stick around to the end, well, I'll tell you where you can get them and provide you with a very special discount for up to 30% off. What are the Rocket Solos Bluetooth smart glasses, you might ask? Well, they're a pair of these sleek, in my case, matte black glasses that are not only a bit stylish, but also smart. The Rockets have a host of features, which makes them perfect for people like me who live a more active, on-the-go lifestyle. First among these is the thing that makes them smart, and that's the Bluetooth connectivity. These glasses can connect to your phone, laptop, or tablet via Bluetooth and take calls or listen to music on the go. The Bluetooth range is, well, it's standard. It's about 33 feet like everything else. Uh, once connected, they make use of this integrated 16 millimeter speaker to function just like any other headphone. It's just that they do so while keeping your ears open and free which allows you to be more aware of your surroundings and because they're integrated in your sunglasses, it's one less thing to have to keep track of. And because there's nothing coming down and in your ears here, you don't look like a douchebag like Dog the Bounty Hunter circa 2005. Not only can you use these to listen to music, but you can also take advantage of the built-in microphone and use them to make hands-free phone calls. One thing that surprised me is just how good that microphone is. I don't know if it has noise canceling or some other property to it, but well, I'll let you take a listen to it and you can judge for yourself. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my phone to capture the audio from the headphones. We're gonna do that here in my kitchen really quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and record it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So I'll give you the audio off the camera here and then the audio off the phone. You decide how close to that that is. I mean, that camera is a, it's a good camera off the top of my Sony ZV-1, so it's designed for picking up audio at this distance. Should be pretty good. Tell me how they compare. And then uh, we'll, we'll go outside here and uh, all right. Okay, so now I'm out here. I'm getting close to a busy ass street. We're gonna see how it sounds now, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit record again. And I'll just jockey the sound back and forth as I'm talking here between what's on the camera and what's on the phone. And then you tell me how it sounds. Uh, here comes another string of cars, so you might get an idea of how it does sound. I'll keep talking through this here, and uh, you can tell me. <clears throat> Are you picking up a lot of that background noise or not? Or how's it sound versus the, the camera? Right? So, that's that. It's a little bit of the audio that gives you an idea of how this is going to end up sounding for you. The IQ solos are rated for five hours of continuous playback and they recharge in one hour with the included cable. Now it's worth noting here that this is a proprietary magnetic cable, so if you lose it or need an extra, you'll have to purchase it directly from Rocket. Aside from that, they are IPX4 rated for splash resistance, meaning they'll hold up to sweat and some inclement weather, but I wouldn't want to drop them into the deep end of the pool. As sunglasses, they're actually pretty decent. Not only do they provide the standard 100% of UV protection, but they also have polarized lenses. And that means they'll reduce glare and reflections from surfaces such as water, snow, and glass. And you know, if you're an outdoors person, you already understand the benefits of having polarized lenses for things like fishing, boating, driving, whatever, anywhere you have a high glare environment. This incorporation is actually done pretty well to the point that they're still lightweight and comfortable to wear. They only weigh 40 grams, and that means I've been able to wear them all day without any kind of discomfort whatsoever. Interestingly enough, these Solos are just Rocket's base trim level. They also have a concerto lineup for a few dollars 
more that features supposedly upgraded acoustics as well as an expanded lineup of frame options. They've also got a customizer that will allow you to pick your own custom frame and lens combinations as well as some custom etching on the lenses. Speaking of customization, you can order replacement lenses if yours get damaged or scratched or if you simply just want to change up the look or light profile. They even have clear or low light amber lenses to choose from. They can even be fitted with prescription lenses, although Rocket doesn't do that themselves, you'll have to take the frames to your optometrist. Now I'll give you my impressions after having used them. For the most part, I think they're great and more than worth the price that you would spend to buy them. I mean, a pair of good quality polarized sunglasses will likely run you more than the price of these Solos, and that's without Bluetooth integration. As noted before, the quality of the audio of the Solos as noted before, the quality of the audio that these solos capture through their microphone is great. However, I do think the output leaves a little bit to be desired. That being said, I don't necessarily fault the product as much as the concept for this. There's a little bit of tinniness to the sound profile and the bass doesn't resonate with me as much as say a set of in-ear headphones. If you're familiar with bone induction headphones, that's kind of how these come across for me as an experience, especially with being able to still hear ambient noise. Beyond that, the pros of this product far outweigh the cons, and to answer the ultimate question, would I buy a pair of them with my own money? Well, the answer is absolutely. In a heartbeat, I've fallen in love with these things, and I'm gonna plan on keeping them for as long as I can. And if something happens to them, God forbid, I'll probably replace them myself. Now, if you'd like to find out more, or pick up your own pair, check out the link in the description below. Don't forget to use the code word Matt Kester, all one word, at checkout, and they'll take 30% off your purchase. Until next time, be good.